Hi guys, welcome to today's tutorial. We're going to do two things today, which is going to be creating an add-on folder for your MP clothing, and then we'll also be editing a YMT for default slots to enable extra textures, for example. I know some are limiting, some have only got four. Not very helpful, but there's a way to fix this. It's amazing. So, there are a few things you'll need today. They will be linked down below. One of the things you'll need is the YMT editor. From the same guy on GitHub, you'll need the Alt-V class tool, and you'll also need OpenIV. This will be only if you need to access the default YMTs, other than that you probably won't need it. Most of you will have it if you've been modding GTA at all. To get these, you just you know downloading your zips, that's all you're doing. Hitting the zip here. Perfect. So the way we're gonna do it is we can make the add-on first. So in here I have these files. Of all of these, we have you know all the different things that I want to make, and they start at zero and they go up. This is quite crucial. You just rename it, it may take a bit, but it's you know, this is worth it. Then what you do is you get your class tool and you just open the exe at the top. Here you go, this is what it looks like, it's perfect. What I do is I first make a new one, just to make sure it's clear. Then heading into mail and in here are all the files I want. So we will select all of them, add them in, here you go, all with their textures. And to make a resource of 5M, all you do is click build, click 5M. Here you can give it a name you want to call it, I'm just going to call it do a T pack and then output it to a different folder just so you can make sure you know exactly what's what. It'll build the resource, it'll let you know. Then in here you have your resource. You've got the lure to start it up with. Open on the wrong side anyway. And then in your stream is where you'll find all the files as well as the YMT, this is quite crucial. I'll save that on my desktop for later. So we'll show you how to edit it in a second. But that'll work, you can literally just drag this contents into a new folder, create a new resource, Bing bang, you go. So heading at the end of all the numbers for V menu, especially will be the last numbers, and they'll go in order that you add them. I know there's about a maximum of four, is what I've heard. Fifth people start to crash with. Depends. It's perfect just to keep the numbers down low anyway. More optimization. So to edit a YMT, you know, to open this, you head into the exe. Here you can just drag this in. Here you go. Got all these different components. You can add new ones if you want to add things, if you want to add like a um, new head, for example, or whatever, the upper, things like that. Here you go. And all you do is add a new one to click your drawable, and you can add as many texts as you like. You can just go and edit them. And all you want to do after that is save the YMT to your desktop, place it. Perfect. That's now got all those new textures, new slots. That is perfect for making the add on folder. So, to edit default GTA slot to you know, get more slots on, you want to head into OpenIV. I'm going to open it here. And once this is opened, and you head into GTA, head into Update, Pan64, DLC packs. In here, are all the DLC packs you'll need, these will have a range of different files. One thing uh, that I would great, I'll put a link to this online, I'll host it somewhere. Here are all the slots and where they go. So I know on the app to update, lower number 50, this one here only has four texture slots. We're going to increase that to the 26 you allowed. So here in apartment, DLC, 64 I believe, models I believe, CD, and into here. Here you go. You have the YMT for this update. You want to grab the male one, making sure you're getting the right gender for the one you want. In here, you can also have the options of you know grabbing the default files. So here we go. For its lower five, five just five lower five, and I want to grab all of its textures as well. It's gonna let me take all of them, please. Mouse. There we go. Bring that down. So, we'll make this into a folder for 5M, and then I'll show you how to edit it. So, uh, what you want to do is head to your either your server or mine's localhost. I have mine in a testing folder. All you want is the you know the normal Lua that you have. All you need to do is have the FX version of the game. Any app, just to have that. And then in stream is where you have all the files. So if I delete that, for example, here you go. All I've done is put these in, and then given it the folder name before, like any uh, clothing you're adding to 5M. 
And for this especially, if I hit the Open MV again, all you want to do is have the YMT and the files you want. So if I put in there, you don't need to edit the YMT name. Um, and if the MV opens, here we go. Today, my mouse is being helpful. So here you go. So in normal GTA, if I show you in the, if I get, oh, if I can get to the YMT editor again. Just drag this YMT in. So this will have all the updates. Don't forget you only want to drag these in once. And you find the lower, lower five, these. Oh, these are lower six. Sorry, I grabbed lower six. Here you go, only four texture slots. All you do is add them up, you get up to 26. You get as many as you like. But if you don't put something here for it, it'll be fine. It'll still be there for the future. So default only goes up to four normally. So add A, B, C, D. I've added E. Uh, all you do is save that back to where you had it. So if I just go to the folder and save, yes. Oh, I hate the shortcut. So now this will have all those different options. All I did here was on E, I got the texture from B and I put squiggles on it just to you know, show it works. Then what you want to do is head into 5M. So I'm going to start up my localhost server and then I will also open up my normal server. Normal 5M, sorry. Station today is great. So this will show you on here. Number six is pants 51. So in V menus, you know, one or two off normally. I think it's just one off, sorry, up or down. Depends um, if you're making a character or if you're just editing one. The numbers are different. Don't know why it does it like that. Um, so yeah, I will just load into the server and then after that I will get back to you. As you can see, we have now loaded into game. Um, just step here for ease, uh, to be honest, but watch that. Uh, let's actually get away from that mountain lion, because that never has gone right for anyone in this game. Um, so all I'm going to do is go to MP customization, get myself a head, just one that I've used in the past. Um, Customize it. So the first thing I'll show you is the pants, we'll head over to 50, 51, whichever one it is. Then we discussed it changes, there we go, these ones. So this normally had four before, so I had one, two, three, and four. And then on the fifth one is the new textures that we've added with that YMT, that custom YMT we added. Well, I say we edited the custom. So we edited the YMT. That's where we're at. Anyway, so here's the squiggles, it's perfect. And then I will show you the add-ons. Um, should work. If I just go backwards, there we go. So normally that's the end, and then of course we've got the new shirts. Should I mind? Oh, I hear that one. Yeah, I love that mountain light. See, looking good. Um, but this is my DOT pack, and the one we made add on. Um, pants as well. There may be a. There's a bug fix actually. I will put down in the description. Um, Oh, we didn't add pants, did we? Uh, one of them. There's a, there's a bug fix for add-on pants. I will put in the description. Basically, uh, it's the naming. The add-on maker like, makes the name the pants. And it'll make, what you'll do is you'll get the same textures like hands. It'll just look like skin. Um, yeah, it, it's an easy, easy fix. Um, it's something that's you know, unavoidable, unfortunately. But easily fixed. Oh, I don't know what else we added. But there you go. All done. Enjoy.